Good morning, good morning. Oh, that was a good one. Today I'm painting on this piece of MDF because I have a nice frame that I can pop it into. So this was an off cut of something else that uh, my husband and I was doing. So I'm just gonna use, I'm gonna use some um, paints up that I have here and um, just see what I can get. So I think I'm gonna go the black blue base. So I haven't used this one for a while. Now, when I have painted on MDF before, I have put a, a, an undercoat or a, a gesso coat, but um, I'm gonna try it without. So, oh, that looks a bit weird, hey? So I'm gonna just coat it with this and see how we go. I think my paint needs to be a little bit thinner but I'm gonna try it so um, you guys will know then if this works out that you don't have to give the MDF a uh, undercoat I'm gonna try it if not if it doesn't work out and the paints don't work out too good in it I will just turn it over and paint the other side so it will be a double whammy because it's the same on the other side so then it will be fully coated both sides and treated so i'll give it a go so that's a i'll try and remember to show you the frame that i'm going to put it in Rightio. so that's my undercoat i guess that's my undercoat I'm going to use only a few colours I'm hoping, which I'm going to, actually, yeah, I'm going to go this white and I'm going to do a big snaky thing all the way up it and I'm going to go some um, metallic bronze. So probably just keeping some classic colours and I'm seeing this, I, I've got some paints that I obviously put um, silicone in and they're going, and I, yeah, I'm not happy about it. I put them in for a, a different pour when I was trying to show what silicone does and then I'm trying to use up the paints but it's not, yeah, <laughs> that's the gecko saying silly, 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 jilly. So I'm actually going to put a bit of this, um, might squirt it on. It's the very delicious. I know it, it seems weird to have this in this particular, but I'm going to, yeah. Can I get my, I need to soak the um, lids obviously in some water till I get rid of the, um, the gunky bits. Just seeing if it will, that's it. I think I'll put a bit more white in there. Over the top. I just see what we get. Hey, if, it, if it's a no-goer, then I'll um, leave this as my base coat, leave it to dry and re-pour over it, maybe. Or the, like I said, the other side. Radio. That was just uh, getting rid of the air bubbles. So let's see what I can do with this. See what mess I can make. Need it up a bit. Just making all those holes. I'm not happy, Jen. No, that bronze has got silicone in it. It just does no good for a Dutch pour having silicone in your paint. So, 
maybe because it's got silicon in we go to a style that would suit silicone i don't like that at all you can't see the nice featheriness there's too many ugly cells so let's use up this bronze because it's got silicon in it and i i don't want i do want it let's see how if i can make anything of this <laughs> maybe not let's go rid of that anyway and then I'll put my remaining white in it. And do the wiggles. I'll add some burnt umber and I'm pretty sure this has got silicon in it too. If you're doing a, a, a particular piece that silicon, you know, is is good for like your swipes because you get your um you get the uh, uh cells then it's perfect but if you're doing something light and feathery silicon is not a good thing it's better to add the flow trial i'm going to go with a bit of um turquoise because actually turquoise and those earthy colors look lovely so we will see hey doing the wiggles through this and I will give it a tip a tilt so this is weird because it's a long skinny mini skinny mini got to keep hold of it colors are lovely I do love the colors together wow okay that looks so nice together We've got all these weird things that I can see popping up eyeballs and cat's face and a little baby seal in there. Okay. I mean, some might like it exactly as it is. There you go. So, what does she do with this now? Let's see if I can get some of my black. I've got some uh, black Amsterdam and Floetrol in here that I've just made up, so I'm not sure if it's mixed real well, but I will give it a go. Maybe I'll just try the center and see how that comes out. Let's just try that there. My plastic, soft plastic file divider. Give this one a go. So that's what silicon is great for. Cells. Uh, they're a different cell to a floetrol cell, I think. Well, they are, definitely. So that's me black i'll continue on with this colors are just beautiful together those earthy colors and literally throwing some turquoise just oh, it just looks beautiful so i will Wowzers trousers, that's gorgeous. It does look like a piece of stone or I think this is, see the silicon is still popping up, um, making some ugliness in there. I don't like it. But anyway, see what we get. I'm going to bring you down to have a look at some of these cells I have in here. Uh, look at those colours and the cells are gorgeous there, but then you've got those blobby things. Look, there's a little seal head poking out. But this is what 
this particular silicon is doing it's making those ugly blobs that I do not like and there's a little puppy head some really weird things some gorgeous cells and weird and wonderful things but I wouldn't like this piece because of those big ugly blobs I mean some gorgeous there are some gorgeous areas let me bring you down here so yeah that's just going into these big ugly blobs and then there's the gorgeous cells and these so the whole thing uh i'm not liking it so i might let that dry and turn it over and paint on the other side so let me know what you guys think. I'll put some photos on and we'll see how it dries and then I'll repaint on the other side. So it was a learning curve. I don't know what's going on with this paint with silicon. I've painted with silicon in my colours before and it's not left such ugly blobby things. But um, who knows why paint reacts the way it does uh, one time and then another time doing exactly the same thing reacts a different so anyway it was a learning curve for me so uh, learn by my mistakes thank you so much for joining me um, very happy see you again tomorrow bye for now